Match one, game two, Nekos of Korhal versus Team Toronto. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to match one, game two of StarCraft II's Direct Strike 3v3 Commander Tournament. My name is Synergy, you are watching Synergy Gaming TV. Let's take a second to introduce our players. In the top right hand corner, playing for the Nekos of Korhal, playing Stukov, it's Sergeant Craven. Position number two, playing Han and Horner, it's Nedved. And position number three, playing Vorzun, it's Taco Lord. Their opponents in the bottom right hand corner, Team Toronto. Position number one, playing Tychus, is Apocalypse. Position number two, playing Abathur, is Chainlink. And position number three, playing Hans and Horner, it's CJO. So, let's see what these guys are doing here in the middle. Tychus on his way in here. Whoa! Tychus here on his way to get some shenanigans happening. And we've got grenade cars. Um, next match, we should do the pick ban before making the lobby. Okay, so this is something they're talking about as well. Where do I got it here? These players have banned Minx and Nova in this match. Let's see what's going on here. Grenade cars coming up against Hellbats and easily dominated here. Looking like CJO's forces pushing through here with Taco Lords. Uh, what are these guys? Legionnaires? No, they're like, they're not Legionnaires. Are they Legionnaires? I can't remember what those little dudes are called. Well, we can take a look. Let's click on it. Centurion, that's right, it's a Centurion. All right, we got a couple bunkers coming in here. Looking, uh, look, at, that's an easy blowout there. Defense is easily handling the situation here. Tychus, what's gonna happen here, this situation? Let's take a look real quick here. Easily dominated that. Let's see what uh, Sergeant Craven's doing here. We've got a couple cronies there. Uh, we've got grenade cards, hell bats, nothing, nothing too crazy. Centurions with a couple stalkers. What do we call these ones? Yeah, they are stalkers here. Good forces coming out. Let's see what the other team is doing here. We still got the Tychus coming out here. We've got a couple of uh, Ravagers into vile roaches. And then we've got a couple uh, hell bats. Again with the strike fighters coming from CJO. Same thing we saw last match. Let's see what's happening here in the middle. Looking like uh, Nedved's forces here. Easily handling that situation. Hellbat versus Hellbat with a grenade car. We do have a strike fighter here, though. You can see CJO is microwing it. He's not going to use it here right now. Is he going to drop it on these? He is. He decides to grab a nice clump there. Microwing that uh, strike fighter. Looking pretty good here. Centurions are putting in a good fight. They're going to take on that Hellbat. They are. And moving in to attack the base here, though. However, easily handled. Blaze now up front. Looking pretty good here. Stalker going all cloaky cloaky here. Then turns around and gets annihilated. We've got Sergeant Craven's forces coming in here. Rocking out that stuff. Bunker going to try and make this slip by. Getting a little bit of uh, damage here on those. Um, I can't remember any of these names, guys. Strike. Spine crawlers. I, I know these names. I'm going to be honest with you. I know these names when I'm not doing a commentary. But the moment I get into a commentary, I forget the names of everything. Like all the special units. This is, uh, we're coming in here with a little bit of a stack. Looking good here. Apocalypse and Chainlink are starting to stack up here. Deleting those grenade cards. No problem. We're moving in now to the defenses of the Nekos of Korhal. And they're dropping down that Stukov um, uh, infestation here. Getting some of those broodlings coming out here. They're going to team up with the Centurions and the Stalkers. We're going to apply some pressure here, but they get annihilated. Blap, blap. Taking down Hellbats here. Going to handle those broodlings no problemo. And then we're going to get a push towards... Oh, look at this. Army coming in here. Man, pretty basic build here coming from Sergeant Craven. Basically just some jumpy boys. No big deals. Jumpy exploding boys and a couple of bunkers just walking along. Blaze here. Going to handle this situation relatively easily and then nuke those infested marines on the inside. Yeah, Blaze is going to handle this no problem. Tyke is just going to wrap in there. Easy Bugattis. Does he have... It doesn't... It does show. He's got his grenade on cooldown. Um, but it's not showing whether or not he has those upgrades. We're going to figure out how some of these overlays work, you guys. So that we're going to be able to get you some of the up thing, or some of the research that's been upgraded. Um, some of the overlays don't work with the mod uh, with Direct Strike. Uh, so we're gonna hammer that out and hopefully in the next couple of replays will have some good action for you guys uh, Bit of a bit of a wipe there 
Team Toronto having a hard time. Strike Fighter's gonna come in here. CJO taking some more time here. Microwing those a lot better. Hellbats absolutely dominating this thing. That Stalker stood no chance whatsoever. We're pushing in here, dealing some major damage here. Team Toronto is having some serious, serious pressure offense here, but don't worry. Because Sergeant Craven is here with the Stukov Army of Destruction. Handles that situation no problem. We've got ourselves a Sirius now. Sirius, Blaze, and Tychus looking pretty dope. Yellow Swaggins. This is going to handle this situation relatively easily. We're right here on the center line with Blaze. He's just, just doing the, the, uh, the zombie walk there. The Thriller. All right, we got more grenade cars and hellbats here, which is actually a relatively good lineup against this Tychus. Obviously, Tychus um, being light and both Blaze and Sirius being armored. That's going to allow the hellbats and grenade cars to do some serious damage here. We've got more stalkers coming out of Taco Lord, though. Is that going to be enough to hold this? This is actually a relatively large... You can see what he's building here. He's got a lot more units. Um, then he did there kind of a bit of a burst there and it's looking like he's upgrading to tech 2 um, Strike fighters coming in dropping some stuff and we've dropped the bunker here team Toronto moving in CJO manages to do some serious damage there Sergeant Craven though however is moving in with his jumpy boys to handle that situation We've got uh, I, I keep on saying uh, 420 blaze it I've been watching a lot of summoning salt recently and uh, they were talking about one of the speedrunners 420 blaze it And every time I see blaze now I think of 420 blaze it But Tychus blaze and Sirius are gonna handle the situation here. This is good whether or not Sirius is gonna have his uh, missile upgrade. I can't remember what it's called, but allow him to fire those missiles It's looking like he doesn't they pull off that scan, but Sirius has yet to fire anything it's looking like he doesn't have his upgrade yet. Sirius goes down, but that's okay because Chainlink is just going to run underneath here and handle this situation. This Ravager's got two kills on it. Looking pretty dope, Yolo Swaggins, but it goes down to the Centurions. We've got some of those Strike Fighters again. CJO taking his time, though. He's not rushing too heavily on, on trying to micro those Strike Fighters right away. Seeing how the engagement happens, and then picking and choosing his targets wisely. This is actually incredibly smart when it comes to using Strike Fighters. A lot of players just leave them on autocast, but you can see here these top tier players are not doing that. We've got some um, Demos Vikings. Look at that, guys. I remember the name. Demos Vikings coming in here landed though. I'm not exactly sure what he's hoping to counter with them though uh, It's not looking like oh, okay, so we've got some uh, Asteria Wraiths coming in here So there might have been a scan earlier that we missed as to why he decided to switch to um, the Demos Vikings Or these no, I don't think these Asteria Wraiths came out last last wave We were talking about uh, Hellbats and grenade cars, so this must have been a scan to just see exactly what was happening here Good transition from both these uh, Haunted Horner players. Oh, Stalker's dodge. Was that, that looked like a micro. I don't think the damage had been dealt yet. It's looking like he microed those backwards. I know the auto default is to micro. Oh, Strike Fighter's just going to annihilate that. And we get the black hole. The whirling dervish of swirling action. Unfortunately, only a single Stalker there to deal some damage. However, it is going to hold CJL's line in place and allow Sergeant Craven to move his bunkers into position to get a better strike. Demos Vikings landed trying to do some damage here. We've got a couple more cronies. We've got a Rattlesnake and a Nicara. N Nicara? Nica Nicaragua? No, it is Nicara, not a Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> this is the best worst commentary in the history of Direct Strike. Looking like the Asteria Wraiths here are punching down some damage here. We get the scan. Tyke is trying to take out some of those, but look at this. Chain Link coming in here with... We got a couple of uh, Mutalisks in this situation, along with his Vile Roaches. Are the Mutas going to be able to do anything, though? Nope, they just get annihilated. We are going to get some Broodlings coming in from a very early infestation on their CC to try and get a little bit of that extra DPS in here. Asteria Wraiths. Coming in here, looking like another tech switch. I'm not seeing the Deimos Vikings anymore. It's looking like he's gotten rid of those and is just going with Asteria Wraiths now. Obviously, with the waves not sinking correctly, the Deimos Vikings were just landing and not using their strongest attacks, obviously, when they're in the air. So these uh, Deimos Vikings, uh, not Deimos Vikings, Asteria Wraiths are pushing in seriously here. Building comes in there, causing those Asteria Wraiths to do the 360 no-scope flip there. And, uh... Now we're getting a fight here. Nedved's Asteria Wraiths are going to be fighting 
CJ O's hysteria race. We got a, some hysteria happening here. And it's looking like we're going to start taking some damage here on that planetary fortress. HP is going down, 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 baby. All the way to the end of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that was match one, game two. What a great fight amongst these players. I got to tell you guys, this high quality gameplay is something absolutely dope, you little swagons. I'm loving watching this very, very good match. Fantastic, you guys. Once again, Necklace of Core Hall versus Team Toronto.